Well, I knew two things for sure when I started to design this outdoor living room in the back. I wanted to use lots of brick and I wanted to use plants that had a real low growing, mounded, rounded form. And so I'm just doing what I did at the other house and I am relying heavily on some of my favorites, starting with, I, I it's, absolutely adorable, both in name and in stature, and that is Pancake Arborvita. It's got kind of a sagey green, turns a little bit more bluish in the winter time. It's going to stay low, having that small rounded form that I so like. I like to keep it a little bit tightly pruned, though you don't have to. It's going to grow about 12 to 18 inches high and about two to three feet wide. It can even, it can talk right sandy soil um, it can handle full sun to part shade and what I love is it just it just will be so sweet I think and so cozy for me to be sitting out here on the patio and then be surrounded by these little rounded mounded forms like uh, pancake arborvita. Now, I not only want to be surrounded by that form, but I also want to be surrounded with scents of the fall season. And to me, that means rosemary. Got lots of rosemary chicken um, in my my daydreams. So I've planted <laughs> I planted some Chef's Choice rosemary. It too will kind of have that low growing mounded form if I decide to clip it. It can grow in kind Kind of tight spaces but I just love the fact that its fragrance especially if I decide to toss it on a little pignon fire or on my grill will really give me a cozy fall vibe this one is hardy in my zone and I, what I am going to do with all of these plantings is make sure I mulch them really well in case it gets we get a, a really deep dive in the temperatures um, I'm also using using some Dragon Prince Cryptomeria. I think it is going to have that same profi profile that I love so much. And the advantage to all of these is that they are evergreen. They will stay kind of tight and compact and I can use them in the ground or I can use them in pots. Now these are evergreen but I've also got some more fluffy kind of mounded plants that I rely on. Well, you can't get a fall cozy vibe with evergreen plantings alone. I think you need a counterpoint to that with something that is soft and textural. Okay, yes, caressable. <laughs> so, so how about soft caress Mahonia? This is an award-winning plant for so many different reasons. I'm going to use it, I think, predominantly because it really, it can handle areas that are a little bit difficult to work with. This is a very shady area. I wanted something that would, a shrub that would give me some ground cover qualities, but that also would give me the beauty and I think um, some of the other assets of small shrubs. So I'm going to fill this entire area with soft caress. Now it will bloom in early winter with yellow blooms, but in the fall what it's going to do is these cooler temperatures will make it produce these tiny new little fronds that almost have kind of a ferny woodland quality to me, which is very, very autumnal and very cozy. I love the way it looks here and I will love it even more when I add additional ones that kind of spill over the brick. It is pest resistant. It's drought tolerant once you get it established. And it mostly, it's just really, really good looking. It's not going to get overgrown in this location and it's gonna be virtually maintenance free. So for um, a that kind of cozy vibe that I want, I'm also going to add this beautiful soft caress Mahonia. Well, one of the very first plants that I installed in the cottage garden was Miss Lemon Abelia because I absolutely adore it. It's going to get about three feet tall, four feet wide, but I wanted to incorporate it in this area here that I call Lemon Lane, and I've planted it with Lemon Lime Nandina, but I just think it looks so romantic and so frilly, and I, I've always thought of it as something that would just be so, so beautiful in the spring garden. But now that it's fall, I realize that it has that kind of, of 
fallish cozy vibe that I also love. And that is for a number of different reasons. I love the way it's variegated glossy foliage really captures the low angle of the sun. I think it's, it's beautiful. It just glows in the landscape. But look at these sweet flowers. They are just adorable and they attract pollinators. They attract those monarchs. And, and you know, in addition to the fact that it's beautiful, it is just so easy care there. It requires well, it, it requires practically nothing other than full sun to part shade. It's drought tolerant once it gets established. It's pest resistant. I mean, what's not to love about it? It's both beautiful, it's easy care, and I think it is eminently cozy in the spring or in the fall. Well, there are just some of the plants that are on my fall cozy list. You guys might want to try them out yourself. Just make sure that they're appropriate to your zone and to the growing exposure where you intend to plant them, whether that's in containers or in the ground. They're really all easy care. They're beautiful in the garden and really they expect and demand very little of you. So break out the pumpkin spice and create your own fall cozy garden.